Hi, this is Graham from Genom's Astro. If you're new to astronomy, it won't be long before you hear the term equatorial mount. And it's quite easy to get confused about what an equatorial mount is. Sometimes they can look like this, and other times they can look quite different like this, just depending on the telescope you buy and the features that it has. So in this video, I'm going to explain some of the basics of an equatorial mounting, including why it might be a good thing to have for astronomy and how you basically set one up and use it. So what are we going to do? Well, let's take a trip, a virtual trip. We're going to go to either the North Pole or the South Pole. Now, because I live in the Northern Hemisphere, it's easier to go to the North Pole. I'm going to take a telescope with me. I'm going to take this one, which is a Star Skywatcher StarQuest 102, which I recently reviewed. Um, and it's the sort of telescope that a someone who's a beginner, a new to astronomy, might uh, choose. Now, the reason I'm actually taking it, other than it being a relatively simple telescope, is that it comes with a mount that can be operated like this, which is an equatorial mount, or it can also operate as another mount, which is called altitude and azimuth, or ALTAZ. So firstly, let's go to the North Pole and let's sit down actually on the North Pole. Now, during the night, what we're going to expect is that all of the night sky is going to rotate about a point that is directly above us. Now, that point is the North Celestial Pole. And in the Northern Hemisphere, there happens to be a fairly bright star, Polaris, that's close to that. In the, in the Southern Hemisphere, everything would rotate around the South Celestial Pole. So we're sat there in the night time, maybe we're having our sandwiches and we're just watching the world rotate around, the night sky rotate around that point. And if we wanted to, um, to follow a star with our telescope to look at it, we could set up our mount, mount like this, which is really setting it up in this mode called Alt As. So it's very much like a camera tripod. We could just point the telescope at, say, the star that we're interested in. And during the night, as the Earth turned, we just have to move the telescope around because that star, that object, whether it be a cluster of stars, is going to be tracking around an arc around that point directly above us. So, so we can understand this, because it seems quite simple to, to be able to have a mount follow the motion of, of an object in the night sky. And it is, um, it, at the North Pole, it's simply moving one axis of the mount. So if we go to the, the Genom's prop department, then let's label what's actually happening here. So the North Celestial Pole, remember, is that point directly above us and the point of, about which uh, the sky appears to rotate as the Earth rotates. Now that's all very well, but we don't really want to stay at the North Pole very long. So once we've uh, finished our, our, our sandwiches, let's go home. So let's try to visualise going from the North Pole back to um, a latitude where we live. So, and let's try and imagine walking uh, backwards. So we're gonna face, uh, we're gonna start walking away from the North Pole and we're gonna face north. So we're basically looking back at the North Pole as we walk backwards. Now, this is just a virtual trip, because obviously it's not a good idea to walk backwards, you're gonna fall in a hole, um, but imagine doing it. And then what you'd actually see, if you were trying to look at the, the, the night sky as you walk backwards, is that the point about which the night sky is rotating is going to slowly move from being directly above you, it's going to reduce so that the angle above the horizon of that point where everything is rotating follows the uh, value of your latitude. And if we imagine trying to use uh, the telescope to, in the same way that we were, to follow a star that's moving in the night sky, all we've got to do is re-establish that the telescope mount points to that axis of rotation, because now everything's rotating about a point that's at some angle, not our latitude of degrees above our horizon. So if you look at this mount again, and we imagine setting, instead of having it horizontal, or instead of having this at a 90 degree angle, we set that angle to the latitude of where we are. So we can do that. We've got a, a scale on the back of the mount here, which allows us to set our latitude. And now we set it so that it's doing two things. It's pointing 
uh, to the north. So this direction is north and we've established that we set the angle correctly so that this axis of rotation is now pointing at Polaris. So Polaris is now up there. And then we find that star again. And all we need to do is move the equatorial mount in that one dimension, just like we did when we were on the North Pole. And we'll follow that star. So basically, in a nutshell, an equatorial mount is simply an altitude azimuth mount like this, which I think we can probably all understand, like a camera tripod. It is simply a mount that allows you to rotate the axis of rotation so that you can point that axis called the polar axis towards that north or south celestial pole. And it allows you to do that so that it's very easy to follow the stars because you're just moving one control, whether it be a hand control like this, slow motion, or whether it be a motor drive, it's just much easier than making two adjustments uh, um, up and down and along constantly. You simply make one movement and then you follow the object in the night sky. So that should be pretty easy to figure out. Now I've been doing astronomy for a long time and if I take my mount outside like this, which is quite a sophisticated mount, I don't really need to think twice about how to set it up. Why? Well, one, because I know what to do, I've done it many times, but secondly, because the design of the mount tells me what to do. It's got a, a telescope inside that axis that we know we need to point to the North Celestial Pole. So straight away I know, oh, I've got to point that towards Polaris and I can find Polaris in the night sky. I look north and, um, and there it is at around 50 degrees above the horizon. So a telescope like this, in a way it's designed so that you, it's, it's intuitive. I can take it outside. It even has a north and N marked on the tripod here. So, oh, okay, I'll just point that in the direction north make sure that um, I've got the tripod level and then I find Polaris in this telescope. Once I've done that, I turn on the motor drive and off we go. It will turn in right ascension and follow the object. I can even use a database to find objects um, with a few more steps. But the issue is on, a, on a, a simple mount, you might not have all those features and it therefore, to my mind, it isn't necessarily intuitively obvious how you set it up. So let's come back to this basic mount, the star quest. We've seen that you can tilt it and use it in these two modes, but there's nothing really. If, if we come outside, we take away our, our prop. Which way do you point it? Do you point it north, do you point it south? There isn't any obvious orientation in the same way that there is when you've got a feature like a polar scope, like a telescope there inside the mount as we saw on the other, on the other uh, equatorial. So a couple of things I'd do, I would firstly, figure out that you need to have this axis here of the mount. The mount, the angle rotates about this axis like that. So therefore, to set the latitude, you, you, you do that as we've seen, but you also need to point the telescope to the north. So make your own north indicator or south if you're in the south. Make it, I've got it out of cardboard here, you can obviously do a better job than me, put it on a leg of the mount, hopefully you can see that there, just about, put it on a leg of the mount that is lined up with that axis that you're rotating about when you're setting your latitude. So carry it outside, point that direction north. Um, after you've done that and you've leveled the tripod, you'll start to realize again, you'll get this, this visual uh, sight that even though you've got no um, telescope to look through, here, there is no feature on this telescope on this mount for that, but you will then realize that north is, or well, the north celestial pole rather, is gonna be in that direction. You've basically got to align it roughly. You should be able to see Polaris in the northern hemisphere, and essentially you're gonna be putting the mount down, pointing it north, um, and then checking roughly that it is then going to be this part of the mount pointing towards the North Star. And after that, it's basically gonna work. If you're not doing astrophotography, if you're just doing visual imaging, that that is a good enough rough um, way of putting your mount outside and aligning it just by eye uh, to the North. And then you should basically find that 
if you put a low power eyepiece into your telescope, find the star or the object you're interested in, then only one axis of adjustment should be needed to keep that target in the field of view. Uh, if you find that it's drifting a little bit, you're having to start to apply corrections on the other axis, which is called the declination axis, well, fine, you can just adjust that um, second control knob now and again, or you can just make a slight adjustment. Just turn the mount around a little bit and just find the object again and just see whether it still drifts out of the field of view. You can make those sort of adjustments without any gadgets. What I actually do is I take my phone outside of me, I've got a compass app on it, probably you have too. And as long as when I'm first putting the telescope outside, it is level, um, and I've adjusted the tripod legs so that it is level. And this N that I've put on here is pointing north using the, the compass app. Then basically everything is set up. I don't need to do anything smarter than that in order to use my equatorial mount. Unless you move around a location, that angle is fixed. You can set it accurately to your latitude. You can do it once and then basically forget it. So hopefully, with this video, you've seen that all an equatorial mount is, is um, an altazimuth mount tilted so that you've maintained um, this axis of the mount pointing towards the axis about which the uh, sky will appear to rotate. And there's nothing uh, smarter about it than that. And definitely, if you're an, an, a newbie to astronomy, then setting one of these things up does not need to be scary. You do not need to do clever um, alignment routines. You just need to basically understand that you have a level tripod, point the mount north, set your latitude, and off you go. So I hope this explanation of an equatorial mount has been useful. If you like the video, then please uh, click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this from Genems Astro, then please subscribe to the channel. I try to feature uh, topics that will appeal to new astronomers, whether that's how to set up equipment or how to use or choose between the lots of types of telescope that are out there. So if you like the channel, please subscribe and send me questions or, or comments or things you'd like to have understood and I'll try to either answer them or make a video about them. So, okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.